Here today, I'm just going to show, we're just going to demonstrate how to defend throw-ins. But the same approach works for goal kicks and punts. Now, if you're watching this, trust me, this is a big deal. This will make a difference in your games. It'll make a difference in how your players play. It'll make a difference in the way they think about playing soccer. And I'm going to show you, uh, and let me just ask an example, and I'm not going to pick on anybody, but let's pretend like, uh, okay, the red team, see, we've put, the, we've put two teams here. The team in vest is the red team. The other team we're going to call the yellow team for right now. And so the red team has the ball to take a throw in. Now, why are throw ins so important? Because each team will get about 25 throw ins in a game. So if you can, on your throw-ins, when you're doing a throw-in, if you can uh, find, use, use those throw-ins to, to attack, to move the ball toward the opposing team's goal, which is the goal their goalie's in, that's what you want to do because you're wanting to score. On the other hand, if you're defending uh, against a throw-in, the last thing you want is for them to get a breakaway off a throw-in or to get a breakaway off a punt. And uh, this will stop that from happening. So let me, let me pretend that, uh, okay, Coach John is gonna be our, our person taking the throw in, and we've set up an, these, these cones are imaginary sideline. Are you catching Coach John on our video? Move on down here, Coach John, a little bit. We'll just leave this on the film, this is okay. Everybody, players, move on down this way. This is some raw video. This is real uncut footage. You guys move on down. So in this case, we're going to pretend like we're attacking that way. Okay. Now we've had to move our stuff toward the center of the field because we've got conditions, sun and different stuff. But obviously, if we were on a real real field, the sideline would be over there. If our goal is, is down there, it was more toward the center of the field. We're going to have an imaginary goal uh, about down where that the corner is down there, where those bags are and uh, the uh, little uh, four-wheeler, imagine the goals over there. So, <clears throat> Coach John, he would be wanting to move the ball uh, this direction. He's wanting to come this direction, and if he's not playing too great a team, and if he's, if he's this close to, his own go to, to the goal he's attacking, he can go straight to goal, okay? Or he's gonna go down the sideline. What he's not going to do is what's called switch fields. He's not going to unintentionally switch the field, which could result in a fast break by his opponent. Now, what that would mean is he's not going to throw the ball. If he was to throw the ball over here, you see the risk of that? So um, he's not going to throw it over here because if he did, and, and if uh, Patrick stole the ball, he's off to the races. Jeez, there's nobody between him and, 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 and our goal. So we don't want to give up a goal on our own throw-ins. So we're going to throw in a safe way. We're probably going to throw down the line or throw toward goal. Now, um, you guys are on Coach John's team. You guys in the red vest, okay? Got it? You're on his team. You guys in the yellow. Everybody who's not in the red vest. You guys are, are defenders, okay? So you guys in the red vest, did you hear what I just said? We're going to be trying to attack that way. So you're going to be spaced out here. Come on. Come on. You're not going to be standing right up there. You're going to be. Now what I might do, if I'm, if I'm really going to be, trick these guys, and they're not, if they're not on top of it, I might say, Zachary, come up here. And I might teach Zachary to come up here and look like he's, he's kind of a, a, not a very smart player. Uh, but what he's going to do is when he, I might try to teach him that when he sees Coach John start to take the ball back, that he breaks to go. Okay, and hopefully his defender, if his defender's not very good, he's going to be standing here, can't even see what Zachary's doing. But then Zachary's off to the races. So that's what we. That's one possibility. But in this case. We're going to, and so we'll, we'll assume that maybe Zachary can, can do that, okay? We've taught him, this coach has taught him, that's, that's a...